is a lot of people won't won't agree with me, but I have all the videos to show it. And like I was gonna teach you guys. It took me a while to learn because I was really bad. When I first started playing connections, I had like a nine to eighteen percent win rate. It was really low. I I couldn't adapt from Storm Four. It was a different game, and I wanted to quit after like a month. And then I said, no, I have reached my first breaking point. I'm like, no, I'm gonna learn it. I learned it, and then everything was amazing. Everything was amazing because I learned. I'm like, oh, I embrace it. You actually need to do a jitsu entry. And then from there, there's a small window where you can do meaningful neutral, where he can pick and you can pick. And you know, and it's interesting once you learn to play the game. But not, and it was a high octane, right, with that chakra regeneration coming back. But the thing is, mm-hmm. it looked like Storm 4. It looked like Storm 3. It looked like, you know, Revolution. But it, 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 it was like nothing yeah. like those games. It was like its own yeah. game. It was intended to be the evolution. Yeah. I have a clip for that I could probably show where uh, the CyberConnect2 president says this is time for Storm to evolve. And that's why he did this. Problem is, no one told anyone that it's time to evolve. They just evolved it and everyone assumed it's going to be like a Storm 4.5. Far from it. Far from any of that. Nah. And see, I'm but, a, I'm more, I'm, I can admit I'm more of a Storm Three old head. So yeah. Like that's good. It, it's taken me like triple, the tri- quadruple the amount of time to adjust to the times. And you're um, not alone. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you're not alone. Like, I mean, it has to be one of the reasons why so few people are playing this game, right? Is it could be is that it wasn't they didn't communicate that expectation that hey guys this is like you know it's it's going to look like all the old storm games but it's a completely new one and buckle up you're going to have to learn a lot and and here are the tools to learn they didn't teach you anything where's the tutorial no, to just, teach you how to play this game no they just threw the shit at you it's like that that's basically all they were, cause and then like, the game bombed right and people hate the game yeah, it comes down to the people trying to learn it. And at the same time, it, it could... I don't know, I could be crazy when I say this, but now that I think about it, I mean, they did re- over-rely on content creators to promote these Storm games. And yeah. that could be another reason for that, too, potentially. Because, like, back in Storm... I guess it started with Storm 3 or so. I'm assuming because that's when there's been a rise and like content creators being acknowledged for the content that yeah, they put Storm out Four. For these Storm, Storm games. Four is when content creators started getting a lot more positive uh, recognition. Four. Before that, I mean, we had a lot of negative recognition. Right. We, they didn't even want us to post their videos. They, you know, then they didn't. They four. they would copyright strike you for basically trying to put their games up there if they could right if they could get that uh, monetary if you were big enough to get the monetary from you any kind of negative feedback was seen as as super like you're an enemy right and then they started listening to us but then the games got worse you know and that's a whole different discussion you gotta watch who you're listening to because things sound good the grass is always greener on the other side but when you finally get the things that you want Right, you got the more offensive game, the less defensive game. You got all these things. They got rid of the the chakra recovery glitch and all these glitches. Yeah. Right, but people are still playing Storm Four more than they're playing this game. Well, it's pretty wild. Um, at least on Steam, right? It we don't have the numbers yeah, for PlayStation. It's Steam. possible. It's possible, like if we had the PlayStation numbers, that we could see that maybe it's two or three times more on connections, right? Because, like, I know a lot of people are playing on connections, so I don't really think that the Steam numbers are accurate to the console. No, because, see, playing games on PC is a different beast. The only thing about Steam is 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 very easy to see, okay, where does this game measure up? I feel like there's definitely more of a base on the console side. But when it comes to the PC side, when it comes to anime games and let's say like your typical typical um, fighting game, most people mainly buy it on PC for mods. Yeah. They yeah. don't necessarily buy it to like 
legitimately play the game unless they just want to play it on PC and only on PC since they're getting it for mods anyway. But most people play those type of games on console. Yeah, and it's possible, like, you know, I have a friend that he plays... He always plays on PlayStation or Xbox, right? And especially on on PlayStation, but he had to travel, and he couldn't bring his console with him, so he does have access to a computer, so he's able to play connections go. on his downtime on the computer while working and traveling, right? So these right. there's these kind of situations too, right? Where it's unique. It's unique, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like I would say if anybody was to play on Steam, it would be a particular situation that they're put in where it's more accessible. So the Steam numbers don't, I feel like they don't necessarily equate to whether the game is doing well or not. It's just on the PC side is definitely a big no. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And then there's this division of frame rates, right, where... It, it gives you a choice to only play 60 frame FPS people, right? So, like, for me, I'm, I'm on the PlayStation 5, but I'm using the PlayStation 4 version. So I'm locked into a 30 frame rate. So I actually don't get to play a lot of people, especially as I go up higher in level, because the higher up you go, the less, you know, the less matches you have for skill-based matchmaking, because there's less people at that level, right? So, like, it's hard for me to find a fight, and I keep fighting the same people, and I feel like if it just, you know, if it just forced you to play, like, 30 FPS people, then everyone would have a bigger pool, right? So there's a lot of different ways that it limits people, if that makes sense, right? And I don't understand this don't. weird obsession where you have to play 60 FPS. I get that you might like that better, right? But every other Storm game was 30 FPS. Storm 4, right? On on, on PlayStation, right? Storm 4, 30 like FPS, so. Revolution. Right. Everything was 30 FPS, right? So, like, it's, why... I don't know. I just feel like they did I a lot of like weird things, a, right? To, like, just make... That's... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, oh, I was going to answer that question real quick. I feel like that's a generational issue, but then again, it's a generational and a dev issue, and here's why I say this generational issue because a lot of gamers now especially the younger crowd they were never around during the 30 fps era they were they, they're around during you know around the time when 60 fps is more valued um but the devs i feel like that's just an l on their part i have no idea why the fuck they did that? But well, I'm it, guessing yeah, because it further divided the community, right? So, like, think about it. Like, there, I have people messaging me all the time, be like, hey, like, are you still playing? How come I can't find you? I'm like, I'm on 30 FPS because I'm playing the PlayStation 4 version. And the game has there basically made it so that, like, you have to press the option to play and everyone. See, that's the problem. There's an option that's that says, do you want to play everyone or do you just want to play, like, 60 FPS? And there's the problem. They should have made up their mind on what console they wanted this game to be on. Because my guess here is, okay, the PlayStation 4 version only goes up to 30, yeah. not 60. Yeah, it doesn't do and, 60. And so now you've got, all right, a PlayStation 4 version, PlayStation 5 and up version, you know, like for the Xbox, I think that's Xbox S or whatever the highest version is. Yeah. And so there's this divide because they said, hey, we want this on the older consoles too. And that creates that division. They, it, it, So it's a combination of the dev choice and the generational gap. Because a lot of the people now, the younger crowd, a, hey, they were they're FPS people. Us on the other hand, we've been playing games before 60 FPS was even a thing. Before FPS was even a talked about. Yeah, you know, it's true. It's F- true. We just yeah. played the game, whatever it was. We played it. Yeah. And there's I a lot of games okay. that are in 30 FPS that are phenomenal games. It, it, it doesn't mean 60 FPS is just better. 
in some ways it is. It's but like, visually, visually it, pleasing for the most part. That, yeah, but how does it feel, it. right? How does it feel? That's the thing. Yeah, it it depends on what the game, how the game responds to it. Some games play just fine in thirty, but then uh, other games don't, or it doesn't. Look, look, look so I'm not okay. I'm not a, even against sixty FPS or anything like that. That you know that yeah. even sounds crazy in itself. The thing is, there's so many issues here, right? Like we're going down the train here. The reason why I'm playing the the PlayStation 4 version of Naruto Storm Connections on PlayStation 5 is because it won't let me use a PlayStation 4 controller. Oh, uh, so you prefer playing on the you know you know what? So there's division it, after division after division after division <laughs> all because people are trying to like partition things and and people are wondering like oh why why isn't there like a big a lot of people playing? It's because when you go online, I have to wait 5 minutes to get a ranked match. Sometimes so 15 you, minutes, 5 to 15 minutes. So you're playing on the PS4 controller because you prefer to play on the PS4 controller.